personal assistants. Personal assistants are hired by licensees to perform menial labor or the administrative tasks associated with real estate transactions. Now, whether a personal assistant must be licensed is determined by what they do. Unlicensed personal assistants can help with routine office activities such as mass mailings, writing ads, preparing market analyses, and so on. Licensees who use personal assistants do so to help increase their customer base, improve service, and offload some of their work that prevents them from doing more listings and sales to their unlicensed assistant so they can bring more income. The better you do, the more you need a personal assistant. Once you hire a personal assistant, then you can do even more work. Now, a sales associate who employs an unlicensed personal assistant must be certain that they only do what they're allowed to do by law. Unlicensed personal assistants cannot be paid a commission or anything transactional-wise. Unlicensed assistants would be considered employees of the sales associate, not the sales associate's broker. They would be under the control of their employer, in this case, the sales associate. Employing sales associates must comply with all state and federal employment laws. Now, Frank has approved a list of activities that can be performed by unlicensed personal assistants. And it's rather lengthy, but it includes the following. Here we go. They can answer the phone and forward calls, put listings in the MLS, follow up on loan commitments, assemble documents for closing, gather public information, order surveys and inspections, write ads, prepare flyers, promotional information, help update your website, etc. Receive, record and deposit earnest money, security deposits and advance rent, type up forms, monitor license and personal files, compute commission checks, place signs on property, order items of repair, make keys for listings, deliver and pick up said keys, schedule appointments for you to go show listed property, place routine telephone calls on late rent payments, schedule appointments, be at an open house for security purposes and to help hand out materials or brochures, which is pretty neat because it's like your own personal bouncer. Answer approved questions objectively, not subjectively, so they cannot insert their own personal opinion. Now they can gather information for a CMA, an appraisal, and hand out written information on listings or rentals and this bullet list was last approved by Freck in 2009. Now, some sales associates prefer to use licensed personal assistants because they can show property and so on. A licensed personal assistant must be registered under the employing broker and the broker must pay the assistant for brokerage activities. A sales associate may pay for the licensed personal assistant for non-brokerage activities on a salaried or hourly basis, but sales associates may not compensate personal assistants for brokerage activities requiring the license. That would have to be done by the broker.